Okay, test, test. This is the mic test and the beginning of the recording. Hopefully the mic's working okay. Can you hear me? Just a minute late, like I said, uh, but I am going to get something that I can sit on. Not you, buddy. I know you're very floofy. <clears throat> uh, hopefully you can hear me. I mean, I'm still wearing the mic. Uh, 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 Custard, don't. Oh, I open the closet, and Custard has become such a door runner. He He's actually, as big as he is, he can move fast when he wants to, and uh, stealthy, too. He's gotten really good at figuring out how to sneak by me through a door at the exact moment I turn and close it. Like, just he knows exactly how I move and how to not be seen. This wasn't one of those, though. This was just him jumping in right in front of me. <laughs> Get out. Okay. Oh, one more thing. Hup. Okay. Hang on. For all I know, you guys can't even hear me right now. Well... Okay, this is me. Hi, kittens. I'm going to sit right here after I look around. Maybe take these shoes off. Okay. Hi, farthing. Don't put your tail under here. I'm going to sit down. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, let's check the chat and see if everybody can hear me okay. And then... Let's see here. <laughs> Take it easy now. She's tiny. He's tiny. Okay, I can see people can hear me okay. And let me check what I think of the camera angles. Thank you, by the way, Discord. Yeah, uh, I guess that's good enough. If you guys, uh, if the admins want to switch those cameras at some point, they are welcome to. Or not. I think that's a pretty good selection for right now. <clears throat> okay. Well, I think, uh, oh, actually, maybe this is, this might be a good choice to set aside. Um, so this, that brings me to the first thing that I need to talk about. And I think uh, most of you already know what I need to talk about first. Um, it's not great. It's, it's bad. <laughs> I've got bad news to start out mailbag with. And uh, I apologize for that. Um, and, uh, I, you know, I just want to say right up front that I'm going to have to talk about this a little bit, and um, it might come up a couple more times through Mailbag. So just like I said on Discord, if you're going to be really bothered uh, hearing me talk about Bill, then uh, you might want to watch this later on in the archives, which, by the way, should go up pretty quickly now that we've, uh, the, the volunteers uh, so far, the admins, and I call them volunteers. They volunteered to admin, and then they kind of got drafted into helping out with this stuff. Well, anyway, they're doing just a great job. So my point being that, that the archive of this recording will probably go up soon. I could even promise that, which is a nice thing to be able to do. And I only get to promise that uh, because of the, the wonderful people helping out. So I, I greatly appreciate it. So my point being, if, if you're going to be um, troubled by hearing about Bill, you may want to wait and uh, then watch this on the archive or just wait you know, an hour or two and then you can rewind and watch it now, uh, then. Anyway, um, and then that way anytime I, I do bring it up, you can just fast forward or, or just you know, maybe not watch today. That's okay too. I completely understand um, and, and I'm with you. So, so um, yeah, uh, I guess that's the, uh, the, the big subject is um, Bill um, passed away this, this week. Um, I never am sure what to say or even what words to use or um, I just never know uh, except um, I know I haven't discussed it yet except on Discord extensively, but I haven't discussed it yet here on YouTube. So I need to say... I know that it was unexpected. Um, 
expected unexpected, you know, like, like we all knew he was underweight, uh, incredibly underweight. Every time I spoke to the doctor about him, which was frequently, I kept bringing up the fact that I, I, I didn't understand because he was, he seemed like he was doing really well at an impossible weight. Um, and we looked at that extensively um, and hadn't been able to find, you know, anything that, that would be a reason for that. It just seemed like he was going to be small. Um, but, you know, we knew that that could come with certain complications. And then, of course, he had been sick um, the last week. Uh, and we were doing everything that we could, and the doctor was doing everything, and, and we'd even tried some new treatments. Um, and uh, I think what happened was he just hit a spot where he, you know, it was just his limit. That, that's it. And uh, and it, it, I did not realize that, that you know, it was coming that soon. Uh, uh, and I, I know a lot of you didn't either. So um, there's there's just not anything else I can say about it, though. These things... Uh, it's it's tragic. So I'm gonna okay. You know I think I think that's enough sort of discussing that. But I do want to say a couple things now about um, sort of the situation, which is uh, something that I haven't mentioned on Discord or anywhere, as far as I'm aware yet, that that I can mention now. That uh, I think it's going to be relevant um, with mailbag is um, Bill had an adopter that was already approved, um, and I hadn't said that because. I don't think that uh, adopter was sort of ready to be, you know, announced yet. It, it came pretty early, um, and I've been talking with them, of course, uh, you know, as you would, and, and they seem like they're doing fine. So uh, that's good. Um, but the reason that I mentioned that he has an adopter is uh, people have already asked, well, you know, what do we do now about Bill's endowments? This package right here says it is for Bill, and uh, um, so I'm not even going to open that today. I'm just going to all open it off camera. But Bill's adopter did um, say that uh, they would like uh, anything that was sent that, that we won't be able to repurpose for other kittens because it has his name on it. Like basically any of the stuff that, that would have been sent that was very specific for Bill, um, they'd, they'd still like to take it. And I think that makes a lot of sense. I, I, I think that's the best possible thing that could be done. Um, <laughs> I'm going to tear up if I keep talking about it. So, um, so yeah, that's the case. And, uh, you know, maybe someday that person will want to say, uh, you know, will want to uh, sort of announce that they were the person, or maybe they won't. And that's fine, too. It's entirely up to them. This is, this kind of thing can be incredibly personal, and I wouldn't blame anybody that sort of needs to take, uh, you know, uh, take it as a, as a personal thing, that they, they really... It's okay if you don't want to discuss it. Um, you know, not everybody does, uh, and that's fine. So, and with that, I'm done discussing it because and I didn't mean that to say that the adopter doesn't want to discuss it. And I'm telling you, oh, it's okay, you don't want to discuss it. I was more talking about me and and other people. That wasn't really. I know the segue I made there was confusing. So, all right, let's uh, let's hop into doing actual mailbag stuff now. There's a couple letters hiding around here somewhere, and again. It's probably going to happen during mailbag that some things are going to come in. I got to fix this mic. Some things are going to come in that are for Bill or, um, you know, uh, let me get it. I'm just going to grab a heavier shirt so this doesn't keep falling down. I can tell that's going to be an issue. Hang on. I'm just going to try this since it's right here. Okay. All right. Let's go with that. All right. Hopefully you can hear me. I'll check the chat again, but I'm not going to stop. We got to keep this moving. Um, I do have, uh, I have, I have a little fun thing planned for some time today. I wanted to do it before mailbag. Then I got caught up in some other stuff. Um, and now uh, I'd like to do it after mailbag, but I have an appointment to go pick up my car uh, after <laughs> mailbag. So we'll see, but I've got a little Halloween fun uh, for us uh, coming up. And uh, I do hope DJ, uh, you know, and I both would like to see a Halloween photo shoot done this year. We used to do them, you know, fairly regularly, and they're one of my favorite things. And again, I owe this entirely to having so many people that can help out on the media now, uh, just to think um, I could do it, you know? Like, I, if it weren't for that, I, I wouldn't even be saying that. I'd just be like, I can't, you know, I just, 
not going to happen. So anyway, uh, this does say read on mailbag, and it is, um, I already peeked because I wanted to know. Um, it's got this cute little uh, card here that's got these little like clover on it. Yeah, those are clover, I'm pretty sure. And inside, this is cool, it just says a doubloon for doubloons. And in fact, it is like a doubloon uh, pendant. Look how cool that is. It's got like a skull in the middle of it and sort of a, a mandala. Uh, um, and uh, the skull is very cool too. And then on the back, there's a weird design. I have no idea what this is. Uh, it looks like it should mean something to somebody, uh, but it doesn't even, to me, it doesn't even say anything like, I don't know, it's kind of like a vague sort of like, I've seen an artist like that, but I have just nothing for it. Uh, you probably can't see it that well from that camera all the way over there, can you? Let me zoom in the floor camera for uh, mailbag. Um, I know it'll kind of limit your view of some of the room, but that way you'll be able to see what I'm doing a little better from all the way back here. One sec here. I know I can't zoom it in uh, enough. In fact, that's the limit right there, so that's still pretty small. Um, and uh, if I try to show you over here, that's not going to work. So at any rate, um, it is, it's very cute. Doubloons is going to like it, and I know Doubloons Adopter is going to have fun with it. Uh, I'm trying to think how you could make it into like a cat toy. It's definitely too big to wear on a collar, even for like a full-grown cat. This guy's not full-grown, but you can see that. Uh, but you could just have it as sort of something to keep as a keepsake or wear it. So, you know, you can think of your kitten all day while you're at work. I would do that kind of a thing. So, very sweet. Uh, it does not have any sort of person taking credit for it, though. There's not even a return address on the outside of the envelope. Um, no name on the inside. So, real mystery. Uh, but whoever sent it, thank you. It's very cute. Oh, um, by the way... Uh, Somebody on Discord was like, oh, there's another, there's a dog in that set. And I'm like, I think this one is a dog, thinking, okay, you know, they were trying to tell me there's another one in this set that I didn't bring out. And I'm like, no, we got a dog. He's right here. I was just downstairs taking some stuff out. There is a third one. I meant to bring it up, and I didn't. So you'll see him. Uh, whoever that was, though, definitely is keeping track of things better than I am. So this envelope here is addressed from the return address. It's very official. It's addressed to Mr. Kitten Academy using my full name, which very few do, very few even know. And uh, the, uh, the return address says, Brawley's, uh, Brawley Von Puddles, care of Brawley Legal Defense Team. So I feel like this could be some trouble, um, but it does say on the back, stream worthy, and with an exclamation point. So if I need to call my lawyer, um, uh, well, the stream may end abruptly. Let's find out. It's... Uh, Notice to cease and desist. Brawley Von Puddles, care of Brawley Legal Defense Team, October 11th, 2023. Read defamation of character for libel and or slander. Dear Mr. Kitten Academy, Brawley Von Puddles is a respected professional kitten and has spent her life building a positive reputation. Nevertheless, we have been informed that you have been maliciously spreading inaccurate and unfounded information that is damaging to her personal and professional character. Under the laws in the state of Massachusetts, it is unlawful for an individual to make deliberate statements that intend to harm the reputation of another party without factual evidence or based on hearsay. The defamatory statements include untrue accusations of, but are not limited to, the following. Peeing and pooping in inappropriate places, eating quids food, tooting on stream, stepping on ledger, spilling quids water bowl. If you do not cease all related statements, a defamation of character lawsuit will be commenced against you. In addition, this shall serve as a pre-suit letter demanding that you provide us written assurance by October 22nd, oh boy, 2023, that you will cease and desist from making further factually untrue statements. If you do not comply with the aforementioned date, then a lawsuit may be filed in the proper jurisdiction seeking unlimited free churu damages as well as pursuing all available legal remedies for your defamation. Sincerely, Brawly Von Puddles, and it is signed with a uh, very official-looking paw print. Uh, P.S., and this part is handwritten. Hi, Raindrop Drizzle Sprout Squall Wellington, Serenity and Teaspoon, love you. P.P.S., Mama Puddles and Bud say hi to P.P.P.S., Hi, Tilt, Petty Cash, Kittens, and Faculty. P.P.P.P.S., the humans say hi to everyone, too. 
P P P P P S. No jokes about me and a lot of P's. You have been warned. Uh, that, you know, I, I have nothing that I can add to that. That's master, masterful. Thank you so much for that wonderful letter. Uh, I, I'm just, you know, sometimes just anything I would say would just detract from how perfect it is. So, all right, we're just going to move right on from it. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. This has lemons all over it. So when Etsy sends you lemons, you need a knife to open it. And uh, somehow my box has moved behind me. There you go. This is from Mishi60. Oh, also known as Mishi from LA. Ah, okay, that's a new one on me. Uh, it also comes with some free stickers and Mentos, which are perfect for me because I like st stickers and I have bad breath. It's, uh, it's nice. That's a little bonus. So, okay, from Mishi60, uh, and it says for your coffee or diet coke. Hmm. Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think um, I think I saw something like this. Someone sent something like this for teaspoon or for DJ for teaspoon. I don't know. These are so cute. They are obviously uh, crocheted coasters of kittens uh, with you know, a little bit of. Um, we're gonna say it's a nose. All right, that's what I'm gonna say. It's just not shaped quite right. Uh, they're very cute little kitten. Um, uh, coasters. There's four of them. They're in uh, four different colors. And look at that. I have a kitten right here to sit on it that's also anatomically um, interesting. So uh, thank you, Mishi60. That's sweet. I'm going to put that right there. All right. Um, that's very cute. I like that. Uh, I know the merchant has no idea, you know, what this is all about or sending it, but I love that they tied this with a piece of raffia. Um, I'm not going to say that that's safe for cats to play with and eat and chew on, but I would imagine if anything was, it might be. Is it? Maybe somebody should tell us. Um, you know, because it's kind of, it's, it's at least sort of digestible, processable. It's just fiber, so I mean, they can't really, but I don't know. Interesting question. Okay. I'm still going to put it away. I'm not going to let the cats play with it. It's not like, oh, what am I, crazy? Uh... Okay, Mr. A, Kitten Academy. Well, that's me. This is a set. Do not separate. It's just one bag. Oh, man. Somebody did, put a note in here, and they were mad about it. Like, the guy at Amazon was like, wad that up and throw it in there. Mr. A, aw, sorry about your keyboards. That's so cute. These might help. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, they're keyboard covers. Aw, that's sweet. Um, so yeah, I did just uh, just lose a keyboard to P. It was Bill. Uh, oh wow, uh, are they keyboard covers or are they head covers that uh, will fit keyboards? This would fit like a 10 keyless, I think, um, but it's got a weird bulge in the middle that makes it look like these are for heads. Uh, that would be my guess, because if you were making it for a keyboard, wouldn't you make it more square-shaped? These are obviously kind of round-shaped. They're, they're puckered around the edge. No, they're too long. Hmm, they are for keyboards. I guess that's just how you have to do it, isn't it? I can still wear one. I wouldn't want to get my hair in anything. Uh, it's a whole set of them, though. I expected, like, if, if you were going to get a keyboard cover, that it would just it would be like a, something you'd put on, take off, and put on, take off. But these are like disposable keyboard covers. Um, which I guess is cool in some circumstances. Like, you know, you're, you're at work and you've got to share a keyboard. Maybe you work a long shift and then somebody else comes in and works a shift. I've never heard of that, but I could definitely see it being a thing. Um, so uh, that's, that's a cool idea. I don't know if I'm really going to use these for a keyboard. It's cute as a joke, and I bet I can find some other great use for them, though. There's so many times that I have to cover something up. 
uh, and they have a nice elastic edge, so they, they might actually be useful around here. I just don't see myself taking the time to cover up the keyboard every time. In fact, one of my biggest problems, um, uh, not one of my biggest problems, but a recurring issue that I have had, I should say, let's not be hyperbolic, uh, is the fact that um, the keyboard that I had that just got ruined um, would take so long to reconnect after I would like, I've got a KVM, so I'll switch it so it's connected to one computer or the other computer. Um, and it would take so long when I would make that switch to sort of like boot up. The keyboard itself has to boot up because it's got like all these fancy lights and stuff. And that period of time, it was only a second or two, but it would get so aggravating over time because you're sitting there going, uh, is it started yet? Um, so uh, why did I start talking about that? I have no idea except that the new keyboard is like that and it's great. So uh, it really worked out in my favor, I guess. Um, huge difference, quality of life improvement all around. And I got Mentos. <laughs> So uh, thank you, whoever uh, the joker is that decided we needed some keyboard covers in here. Uh, that's sweet. All right. Awkward styles. Oh, uh, Joe and Haffers. All right, Joe and Haffers. Let's see here. And it also says, it says Joe and Haffers and Biz. So there may have been um, some other things going on here, but I can't read any more than that because that's as far as the return address goes. Oh, this is cute. What a great piece of art. <laughs> it says P on Mr. A canvas. It, what it is, I recognize now, you've just drawn onto it. Uh, this, yes, is when I got peed on. Um, it, I believe that was by Bill. Uh, was it, Bill? It says Bill, so I'm just going to go with that. I don't even remember that part, but I do remember this is actually a photograph, not a piece of art, of my shirt that I was wearing. You know the shirt I often wear with the avocado cat on it, so that's what this is, the avocado cat. Um, and one of the kittens was peeing and I picked them up to move them to the litter box and they just kept going like they do. And it got on me and it happened to get on me and it, what I also thought was the shape of a cat. Um, so someone has drawn an outline around the shape of the cat in case you couldn't see it by itself, but it was definitely there. That's, uh, that's really cute. I'm I hope nobody will mind if I do wear this because personally I don't have to associate it with anything sad. Um, I just think it's cute and an acute incident that happened. But I guess, you know, on Discord, let me know if you guys think it would be too much, too soon, maybe. I think it's adorable and I love it. And uh, that was that was special. You know, I shared those pictures because uh, I was like, wow, what a coincidence. Uh, all right. Let's see, next up, uh, Joe, Haffers, and um, is that going to say Busy Cat? I don't know. Thank you, though. Installation. Aww, what a cute thing. Um, okay, so this appears to be a, it says self-groomer. It says it's a four-pack of self-groomers. Look at that Maggie cat right there. And apparently they're just little brushes that you can attach to a chair leg. Um, apparently there's a strap in here somewhere. Oh, there's little pieces of adhesive. Um, there's catnip. Okay, it's adhesive. That's weird, though, because there's definitely a spot here where you could attach a strap. I wonder if they've come up with different versions of it over time. Uh, but not change the plastic. Oh, no, they're for screws. I see. There's screws as an option. Hmm. Okay. Uh, this is cool, actually. I've thought about this before. I don't remember why, but there, at one point I was looking at these online thinking, man, one of these would be perfect. It must have been a cat that we had in that really liked the rub on things. I'm not sure. But I could think of all kinds of places that we could put these that would be fun that wouldn't even be on chair legs. Um, like, I'm looking at the electronics box that's been in these rooms for a million years, and I could just use a zip tie to put it on there temporarily and not even break anything. It'd go right on, you know, or uh, anything. So these could be fun to set around. Um, is there a note? I guess I should read the explanation first. Enjoy your gift. Aw, these are for the long-haired kittens for quid. Okay. Uh, one for the Academy, one for Eddie. 
That's such a cute idea. Uh, here's an idea. Put one on a scratching pole so it can be moved. I hope the bristles are soft enough from Jackie. Jackie, what a great idea.、Um, these are not soft bristles, but I don't know if that's what cats want.、Um, you know, the, the brushes that I like to use the most are the ones that are the, the metal pins.、Um, they're they're、um, for you know, like de shedding. Uh, I think they're called slicker brushes. Is the what they're called?、Um, and you know, they're obviously the metal pins are、uh, pokey, very pokey. But collectively, they do a great job of like feeling like a cat tongue and pulling out the fur. And the cats that like being brushed love them because they do kind of pull on the fur just a little bit. You know, it's not pulling the fur out, but just enough to feel like another cat's tongue. And I think this is about that same、uh, quality of stiffness. So it's not trying to be like a like a soft silicone thing. It's uh, just um, yeah, it's hard plastic. It's probably ABS, and、uh, I think that's perfect. I think that's fun, and I would love to see if some of the kittens would use it. Till is really big on rubbing her face and her body on things、uh, that she is sort of marking that way. So she could even go for that, even though she's not long haired. I could see her using it. So.、Uh, Yeah,、uh, no, that's a great idea. What did you say?、Oh, you're such a sweetheart, Till. You're such a sweetheart. She really is too. You know, she、um, is pretty strict about introducing herself to kittens, and if somebody doesn't show her respect, then it's gonna be sparks. You know,、uh, like Wellingtons, who's headed this way right now, and Squall both give her some issues.、Um, still, but. None of that is going to escalate into an actual fight with her, as far as I, I think. I, I, maybe if you let it go for a long time, but I doubt it.、Um, and generally, she's just so good-natured. And after she's had that initial sort of, you know, get to know you, she gets along great with everybody.、And、in fact, most of the time now, she spends in my office with Custard because、um, they are okay with each other. He's pretty antagonistic, and every now and then. He'll just get right up in her face until she swats at him, but then he backs off after that, and that's it. She's not going to pursue it after that. She's just like, dude, this is too much. So,、uh, yeah, she's great.、Uh, where was I going here? Okay, next up. Well, this has been very interesting to me. It says, "Do not bend,"、um, and、uh, I, I, I hope it didn't get bent because there's definitely a crease in it right there. But otherwise, it feels pretty stiff. So let's see. I'm gonna. I, I don't know how to open this because I don't know which side might have something I could accidentally cut through, but I'm not gonna be able to do it without a knife. So let's just be as careful and gentle as we possibly can. I imagine there's some kind of art in something like this, right? Okay, good. That looks like cardboard, so I feel like I can safely go at. Ooh, a little bit. Okay. Ooh, goodness. All right. All right, it is cardboard, and I cut through a little bit of it, but hopefully we're still good. Let's find out here. Oh my goodness, the suspense! Is he going to cut something? Isn't he going to cut something? Okay. Well, looks like it was protected pretty well, or else I've just been shipped cardboard. It's fine too. I'm going to use it. Oh, oh, these are so pretty. Oh my goodness. What is this? It's lovely.、Um, so this is apparently an artist who is named Gomez,、uh, Karina Gomez, I guess. And it looks like Day of the Dead art, which is amazing. I may have mentioned that I am just a big fan of that、uh, theme motif. I don't know what you'd call it.、Um, like you know. If、uh, if I ever were going to like get serious about decorating for Halloween or anything in a cohesive way, this is something. For not that I would, <laughs> but I'm trying to get this thing off so that we can look at it, and it's packaged in here so tightly and nicely, and I don't want to take it out and like ruin it. But it's got this card packaged on top. See, and I'm trying to get it out without taking everything out because I don't want to damage it. Look how cute it is. It is a kitty. And it's done in exactly that style, and this appears to be ah、uh, so cute. Happy Halloween, and Dia de los Muertos. Okay, I'm not even going to try.、Uh, from Michelle, thank you so much.、Uh, that's really sweet. I I I would guess that's 
Hang on. Let me see if there's a return address that tells me. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know how much I just gave away, but that's Mishi. Uh, Mishi, thank you so much. Um, I, that's probably not giving away anything. I think most of you would have guessed. Uh, how cool. I, this, even this I might frame. You know, DJ's done that. DJ's got one of her favorite artists. Uh, we were just talking about her last night. And uh, when she bought some art from her, she got some sort of postcardy things too, just like this, which she also framed and has hung up. I can see me doing that too. This is really cute. Uh, and this is just adorable. Oh, oh, I just noticed it's got it's wearing a little heart pendant that says in tiny little letters, "Adopt a life." What could be more perfect? Wow, uh, I just love it, Mishi. Thank you so much. I know for now, this is go going to go to where I've got the Ark, um, you know, uh, right next to the Ark of the Covenant. Um, but I, I promise you that this will get framed and I will treasure it. Uh, I think it's fantastic. Wow. Uh, you know what I should do is put something here that says Mishi so that when it comes time, I remember that part too. I could just write on this plastic because uh, I do want to remember that part. Okay. Uh, what is today, the 18th? 12th, 21st, okay, I'm a few days behind. Whew. I'm fine though, how are you? Okay, uh, I'll put that over there with a the t-shirt and let's keep rolling here. Um, oh, is this, this is something I already took out, right? Okay, I think it is. Just a, uh, here's your reassurance, oh, that was the coasters, yes, okay. Um, I do go through all this stuff again, though, when it goes out for recycling every once every two weeks. So uh, things do get found if they get lost. So this is really cute. It's decorated with all these Halloween stickers, but they're all cat Halloween stickers. We have little cat mummy, cat wearing a skeleton costume, cat Grim Reaper. This looks like a cat Dracula holding a fish, and it's very cute because it's so tiny, but if you really look, the artist has the cat has fangs and the fish he's holding has his little eyes crossed out like he's dead and two little fang marks in his side. <laughs> That's adorable. So uh, all sorts of cute, cute little kitty Halloween stickers. I need to take a picture of that though. Uh, oh, there's a repeat of it on this side for everybody. That's the cutest one. The other ones are all cute, but that's just that little detail makes it for me. All right, put that right on there. Also, make sure that I'm still being, there we go. Okay, yes, the sugar skull art, I saw you say that and that reminded me, just that phrase reminded me of the fact that I'd also recently discovered, um, are you, are you guys all know um, The Lodge, that's the company that makes the cast iron, uh, The Lodge? Uh, they make all kinds of cast irons, really cheap, and it's stuff that will last a lifetime. And I know you go online and you're going to read people that are like, oh, cast iron is so hard to take care of, and if you wash it ever, it's ruined for life and all this stuff. Ignore the nonsense. Cast iron is great, um, but it does take a little bit of a different care. than it. You know what? That's not the point. The point is I was online the other day and I discovered that the lodge has a couple of uh, like Sugar Skull, Day of the Dead, uh, art piece, cast iron pans that, that they have this wonderful art on the bottom of them. And I don't know if people would cook with them or not, but I mean, you could because they're cast iron and you're not going to ruin that. At worst, you're going to discolor it and then you can just, you know, uh, scrub it down later and uh, get all the rust off and make it fresh. And it's so cool. Anyway, I had to really convince myself not to buy them because I already don't use all the cast iron that I have and I just can't have stuff in the house that's not being used, you know? So pretty though. So if any of you do need some cast irons, uh, I'll be jealous. You go get one of those. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is cute. Okay. It says, how are you so awesome? Seriously, how? And it's all sparkly. Um goodness like yours can't be explained just appreciated frozen tundra crew oh thank you that's so sweet of you uh dear mr a dr dj ka cats and kittens and ka fans greetings from wisconsin i hope everyone had a great summer 
I'm looking forward to the cooler temps that fall brings, personally. Yeah, uh, we've got them, and I'm so glad. Thank you, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, for sharing your home virtually with us so we can share in the love and joy that is KA. Thank you as well to the wonderful Discord family for just being so wonderful. Mr. A, I've enclosed a few of those fun, free local newspapers you like to peruse. Oh, yes, they're at the bottom. Oh, thank you. Uh, there are also some fun coffee flavors for you to try. I see that. We've got like the sample bags. Ooh, sinful delight. Ooh, oh my goodness. All right, well, I'll have to go to confessional after, but that's fine. Um, uh, where was I here? I also enclosed a recent pet foolery comic as I thought you might enjoy it. I hope you enjoy all the goodies. I didn't forget Dr. DJ. There's a small vase and do you say vase? Uh, there's a small vase enclosed that is touted as a whisker vase. Hopefully she can use it to display at least part of her whisker collection. What? Well, that I got to see. Oh, maybe that's this. Okay, well, we'll see. Um, as for the remaining items, these are all items that can be used as you see fit. I saw the pineapple toy and knew it belonged at KA. I couldn't send just one toy, so I picked a few other toys I thought the cats and kittens would enjoy. Frozen Tundra Crew. Well, thank you so much, Frozen Tundra Crew, and it's so sweet. It's just the the... The, you've written to us so many times and you've sent us so much stuff and you've taken such good care of the kittens and of DJ and I. I feel like, um, you know, th there's people like you um, and, and everybody, you know, that, that has helped us out. I, I don't mean to just single you out, but you also deserve a, a, a big portion of that same praise. And, and I hope you know that. Um, so, uh, is this going to be what a, whatever a whisker vase is? Because I really want to know. That sounds like the coolest little thing. <gasps> wow, what a great idea. Okay, so it really, it's just a tiny vase. There's nothing about it that would be, um, you know, like I thought maybe it would have a little something in it that you could poke the whiskers into so they would stay put, uh, which I guess you could still do. You could put like a little dot of silly putty or, you know, uh, use um, like the transparent museum wax then nobody would see it. Just stick it right down in the bottom of this little tiny vase and then you could use another piece to stick it to your desk because it's going to get knocked over it's so tiny but it's actual uh real glass i think hard to tell at this size but it feels like it could be plastic actually who knows uh it's super cute it's got little tiny ridges on it so it's decorated it's got a nice flat bottom so it will stand up and it's even got a lip around the top. It's it's super cute, and I think that's the coolest idea. Uh, I think, um, you know, whether it's really about her collection or not, what a cute little piece of decoration it would make to put some little kitty whiskers in that, like I said, and and uh, stick it on something. I just I think that's awesome. What a cute idea, you know? You could use any sort of little dollhouse vase, I guess, for that same thing. You too. I see you. I see this is a little face off here. You knock it off. You, you are a sweetheart. I know you're not starting anything and you're not, you two like each other. What is that all about? Okay. So here we have three fish, one of them very shiny. Uh, oh, this is the pineapple you were talking about. And it appears to be a pineapple toy uh, that's got like a, it's hollowed out and it's got these three toys on strings um, one is a melon, uh, I guess two are melons, maybe, and one is a palm tree? That's weird. Okay, so a palm tree and two melons, I mean, I get it, kind of. Uh, they're all on strings, and they can all be put inside the pineapple, so then the kitties would have to pull them out. And that's a fun toy. Uh, I like it. And I actually brought a, that little, I don't know if you can still see them, the little pineapple kitty down here. Uh, I'll show them to you after. Okay, we have uh, mylar crinkly balls the regular skitter critters value pack these are just the these are like regular old um cloth and string mice uh but they are the classic ones that that like cats that play fetch this is this is what they go for and i don't know why but they're perfect for it uh, I, i've seen it consistently with like any kitten that, that plays fetch this is one of the things that they'll do it with so uh all right this is a cute little set with cupcakes, uh, donuts, sweets, I guess, and also just pink. It's just, the think pink is supposedly the theme, uh, but the cupcake doesn't even really have any pink. So I think they kind of, they got lost somewhere. It's still cute, all cute. 
This is two catkisses in vases. We're being fancy today. They're, they're also super cute. They've got a little corduroy texture to them as well. Uh, all right, now we're down to coffee, hazelnut cream. Oh my goodness. Okay, you sent hazelnut cream. All right, that's a classic. That's a coffee flavor. No issues with that. Uh, you sent sinful delight, and I already made a joke about it. Um, and now you also, the third option here is death's door. Wow, uh, that we've really had a progression here of flavors. So I know which one I'm trying last. Um, and then I can be like, all right, I've tried the other two. Now I'm at the third coffee. Here's a recent comic uh, from an online comic I read, I read called Pet Foolery. I thought you might like it. <laughs> oh, it's just cute. It's just a cute little kitten playing with leaves. It's adorable. And he's got a very mean looking dog uh, keeping track of him like a sweet father. Uh, and I don't know how well you can see that, but it's adorable. It's just a cute moment. Uh, I don't even know if it would mean anything if I read it because it's clearly just about how cute it is. So. All right, uh, and then the newspapers, thank you. Um, oh, the newspaper has uh, a piece of tape on it. I think maybe you've covered something up, but whether it's covered up or whether it just happens to be there, I have that same tape and I've used it recently. Uh, the, the duct tape that has little kittens on it, that's cute. Well, thank you, I can't wait to read that. And I've got this and I'm just gonna put those in here with the uh, tiny little thing and put that over here with this stuff. And then these can all go, that's going to go this way. This can all go over this direction. And we'll have to find a box to start putting all that into. And these, uh, this needs to be labeled or put with other things that are specific. Okay. Let's keep rolling. I think we might be able to get through all this stuff today, uh, even if we go a little long. I hope that's okay with everybody. I'd sure like to do that, though. Um, so let's see. What are you looking at, Farthing? Quid's just sitting here behind Dracula. Can you see him? There. Oh, oh. Okay. Those don't actually see the two separate sets. I put them together because they're funny. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Look at your big belly. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a fun puppy. Oh, he's purring now. Oh, you like that? There you go. Hi, what are you playing with? Is this for you? Is this your string? Okay. All right. So in here, oh. Oh, this is so cute. This is for Till. And it is another of the electronic flopping fish. It's uh, actually to add to the last order from R. Uh, R, thank you. I remember getting the last order. Um, R. Okay. Uh, I will add this to the other ones. That way we'll have plenty to endow for everyone. Thank you very much. Um, here, there. Here, I guess, technically. We'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, you know, the basement right now is the worst it has ever been, um, which is really saying something considering how bad it's been, and I've shown it to people. Uh, and, but the, the good news is I really am going to get to it soon. That's like, it's right. I, I, not important. What was I going to say about that? Why did I bring that up? I had some reason. It is lost. So now I've just told all of you, my basement is a disaster zone, just to tell you, okay? Let me tell you some other terrible personal secrets that I've got. Uh, my worst shames. <laughs> oh, this is from Joe and Haffers again, okay? Joe and Haffers, let's see here. Well, I see uh, the plastic they used to package this. I mean, the box is falling apart. Oh, it's a, look at that. It is a Christmas tree cat scratcher. Um, wow, it's only in like three pieces. I guess I may as well put it together now because uh, this box, that's so cool. Okay. Um, what? The box is very clearly empty, yet something in here is still jingling. Look at that. Look, look. I'm not, it's like a magic trick.
There, there's no flaps for anything to be under. I mean, the flaps are up. It must be stuck in between. There must be a toy stuck in between the wrapping and the box. Sure enough, a little tiny blue collar with a bell and a uh, and a bow. If there was no bell on that, this thing would have been thrown away. It was just tucked in between the wrapping and the box. Huh. That's a cute little blue bow with a bell. That's fun to say, too. That's a lot of bees. Wow. Okay, uh, this is going to take two seconds for me to put together, so let's just do it. And um, I should have some ramble prepared for you, but uh, wouldn't you know it, at the moment I need to fill some dead air. <laughs> I got nothing. So this is so cute, though. Uh, the bottom, so the, the, this is styrofoam, and I know because they didn't, they didn't bother finishing the bottom here, um, which would be fine, I think, under normal circumstances, but for us, when we have all these low cameras, I think we're going to end up seeing that a little bit. Uh, you know, if you were a regular human, you would never, you'd never be on the floor low enough to see under this thing. Come on, line up. There we go. That's fine, though. All of that just means we got to like fill the space under this with presents, so you can't see that. Right? I think that's funny. Now they also sent a tree topper that is just a little ball on a stick, but I think it'll look good up here on top. Oh, there's a hole. I think it. There we go. Goes into. How cool is that? That's so cute. It's adorable. It's just super adorable. And I don't think these strings are going to be a concern because they aren't slack enough uh, for a cat to, to get something in there and get it twisted up. So I think we're okay, but I'm going to keep an eye on it and we'll see if we have to reevaluate that. Uh, anyway, it's so cute. I, I don't want to put it away, um, you know, uh, with Christmas coming up so soon. And for us, Christmas starts next weekend, right? That's when DJ scheduled her tree decorating as she does every year. Uh, if you haven't been here for that in previous years on the uh, the Discord, it's usually something we do, we do on Discord. DJ decorates the Christmas tree, and it's fun. Um, I usually try to subject a couple of cats to being put into costumes, and they don't like it. But if if I just get the costume on them for a split second, it's long enough to take a screenshot of them wearing it. Uh, so that's fun. Um, but in general, the thing I would say about it is it is not, it's not much. A lot of times DJ and I'll turn off the sound so we can just play Christmas music while we decorate the tree. Um, and uh, a lot of times there's not anything else going on. So that might also be the case. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, if you're on Discord, you can join us for that. Um, and I only mention it because uh, that would be a, an opportune time to bring this out. Uh, and I think until then I might put it away, but it's so cute. That was a hiss between Drizzle and Till. And of the three Tabby sisters, Drizzle's definitely the most standoffish. Uh, but even so, Till's not going to respond to that. Like, she just didn't. She just heard the hiss, and she just kept walking. She's like, I know you don't want me next to you. I'm not coming your direction. Uh, that's why she's so good with other cats. Okay, for the moment, I'm going to put this back here uh, as a tree, and then... I'll take it down to the basement when we clean up or somewhere where I'll find it when it's time to put out all the Christmas stuff. Uh, I think the reason I mentioned the, the basement was to say something about how I really am uh, getting to work on now, getting it cleaned up for real. And because it has reached a point where I'm like, this is our limit. Like, it's gotten to the point now where I'm like, we cannot have a part of our house that's in this state. <laughs> we got to fix this. So, uh, yeah. All right. Kitten Academy Endowments. Here we go. Ooh. All right. Well, we have individually wrapped endowments. They are. They must be tunnels. Uh, they must be tunnels. They are tunnels. Yellow. Well, I'm going to open a little hole in the middle so that it doesn't come all the way out, and we can just see what the tunnel looks like. What do you think? Uh, it does not look at all. <gasps> Ooh, what? Oh, I'm not sure if it's an actual tunnel. It's not. It's not a tunnel. It's one of those, you know the giant springs that we've had out a few times that have this sort of material on them? That's exactly what this is, except it's a slightly different color. It's got this cool little orange and green and white uh, 
striping along this. This this like vividly reminds me of something. I can almost place it. Is it a children's? Is it is it like the um, the land of misfit toys or something along those lines? That's got that wears this little orange and white and green like this something from my childhood Christmas. I don't know. Whatever. It's definitely triggering me in a childhood way. Uh, so that's cool. That's fun. Um, okay. So these are for endowments, and they're the giant springs. Those are a big hit. I don't. I don't like to leave them out too long anymore because whatever this material is that they've used, this tensely material, after a while, it starts to really fray. Um, but until then, these are a big hit. They're just exactly like a cat would treat a giant spring, uh, especially when you think of like the spiral spring toy that stands up that they all love to play in. This is like the adult version of that, and it's great. So that's perfect for endowments, and even though it wasn't addressed to anybody in particular... It's okay, you two. You're having this angry stare off, but you don't. You're fine. You two don't. You two are fine together. I know. I know. You've been together so much. All right, put that with the endowments. Wow, farthing at the top of the uh, the tree there. That's a tricky one. Okay. Did we get through everything? Kind of. We did. I think. Uh, I was saving this stuff for last. This is stuff that came to the house uh, directly rather than to our post office box for two different reasons. And one of them is something that I will be probably bringing up a few times just because I, I want to. Um, and it's about me, uh, I don't know, feeling some genuine gratitude towards the folks uh, who, oh, wow, this is not, this is making a noise when I move it that I did not expect. Uh, let me open this up. Hang on. Let's find out what's going on in here because I expected this to be like, it's so heavy. Uh, cans of wet food, but it, is it? Oh, this is why. It is, kind of, but not like I expected. How cool is this? Yeah, that's what that noise was. I thought that noise was dry food, because when the scraping sound of the little packets of food in here times all of the boxes of food that are in here uh, made me think uh, there was dry food packaged in here. It's like so heavy for that. But no, it's, it's chicken and pumpkin dinner in a hydrating puree, pate, solistic brand, um, which uh, that's interesting. I don't want to... Uh, uh, oh, there it is. Yes. Okay, good. That's exactly what I was hoping. It is Weruva, like I said. Solistic is one of the Weruva brands, apparently. Uh, here it goes. It says right here, Solistic is part of the Weruva family of brands. Weruva is a family company wholly owned and operated by pet parents David and Stacy Foreman. How sweet. Uh, well, I'll tell you, it's not, it's not David or Stacy that I've been communicating with, um, but uh, it is certainly, um, they're just, the, I don't know David or Stacy at all, but I do know that whoever it is that they've hired um, to, uh, to talk to people like me, is a wonderful person. It's not the first time that they've sent us stuff. And this box that is in front of me that contains itself six boxes of, uh, of wonderful food, not nearly the only thing that they sent. There's an entire pile, mountain, of these boxes, uh, some of them different sizes, too, so they don't all contain the same thing up there in the front hall. And uh, I plan on showing them to uh, to you guys, I think, over time a little bit. Um, just, just because I... I I, I know I mentioned it before. I'm not going to push it too much because I, I want to talk about it a few times and so I don't have to push it too much. You know, I don't have to say too much any one time. They did not ask me to say anything. What they did, and the, this is the second time they've done it, is they just sent me an email blindly. They said, you know, we, we love what you're doing for cats. Can we send you some food to help out? What do you need? And as always, we basically responded with, um, you can, if you want to send it to Mailbag, you know, we'll open it. We'll be super grateful. Uh, hey, ah, 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 ah. but we don't do product placements. We don't do reviews. You know, if, if we think anything of it, we're just going to say what we think. Um, uh, you know, so it's, it's up to you. And, uh, and they, they sent it. That's it. That's all they, that's, that was really the whole communication was uh, send stuff if you want. We, we are not going to make any obligation about it. Um, and they never asked us to. You know, they ne that's, just, that's our boilerplate. They, they never even suggested. Uh, they, just, they just were like, no, we want to send you a ton of food. And they did. Uh, it's so wonderful. So uh, thank you guys is what I'm saying. And uh, I'll be thanking them again a few times just because it's, it's really nice. And it's nice to see um, people that are at a company like that that are able to do nice things in the first place, you know. 
Um, I don't have a strong feeling about family-owned companies, but I do have a strong feeling about companies that are operated by, you know, in a, in a small fashion and aren't trying to drive the eternal growth that are just trying to do what they do and, you know, do it well. Uh, and I, is we're over that? I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying they, they, they give me that vibe and I like that. I have not researched them, but uh, uh, yeah, okay. But I have good feelings about them. That's what I'm saying. Okay. And I'm sharing them with you. Here we go. Okay. It's time for Adele. So this is some of you, if you've been watching for a long time, some of you already know uh, what this is going to be because it's like the B&B sisters. It's a very distinctive way of sending something to Kitten Academy. Uh, but unlike the B&B sisters, it happens very rarely, um, uh, as you can tell. It, too frequently, I should say. It happens too often. Um, but this is from uh, Pat and, uh, or Trouble and Carrie, I suppose, probably. But uh, let's, let's find out. I have no idea what's in here yet. It has been here all week. And I, uh, it's made a wonderful box for cats to sit on. Ooh, looks like we've got a resupply of some classic Kitten Academy items that we don't have access to. And some other things, too, that are very pretty. Um, and I should mention, like, you know, these boxes from Pat are where we got uh, the elephant that's right there. Um, she may have sent the original elephant tree too. No, I don't think so. No, I don't want to give I don't want to give credit to the wrong people for anything. So I'm just going to stop now. But uh, um, yeah, all right. So here we go. Happy mailbag day. Just a few things to add to the KA decor. From it says, and there are their photos. How sweet is that? That's really nice. Um, so I think some of you can already see what's in here because I don't know. You got one of the ceiling cameras on probably. But we've got the cheeses. I think we've got two cheeses left in our cheese storage area, um, our strategic cheese reserves. Uh, just like Wisconsin, we've got our own. Uh, so these are from Meyer. You can't get them anywhere else. And they are a nice, uh, fun toy for the kittens. They're just exactly the right size for the kittens. And you've sent, uh, I believe, two of them here in this wonderful box. So thank you so much for that. Um, I should deploy those uh, for our kittens more often, I guess. Uh, I'm going to put them back here so we can continue to go through the stuff in the box. Uh, I like to switch things up once in a while, though. You know, I don't want to do the cheese for every class, although I guess I could. Why not? I don't know. There's no rules. Let's see what else you said. <laughs> uh, uh, it's just too much. Oh, my goodness. Um, this says Muley Fashion Exquisite. That does not mean anything to me. Those are just like words. Uh, it says Made in China. That also doesn't mean anything to me. It's just words. What does that even mean? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what this is, though. I really don't. Some sort of textile. I can tell that much. Oh, oh, it's a bed. No, it's a, it's a, no, it's a fur. It's a fur. It's a pink fur. <gasps> How cool is a pink fur? Oh, this is going to be cool. That's exactly what it is. It's like the furs that you, that you sometimes see, the fake fur uh, that you sometimes see around the academy. I use the fake furs a lot for photo shoots, and uh, we like, DJ likes to put them out for the kittens to sort of sit on and play on and barf on and pee in. Because uh, that'll happen. But they wash pretty well, actually. This one that, that um, Raindrop's been sitting on this whole time has been washed a dozen times at least, and it still looks great. Um, this probably is going to need a wash uh, even to just get the, the sort of shipping um, folds out of it. Uh, that's really cool, though. I love having a pink one. I've got a couple in reserve that are, um, you know, like grays and browns and, and pure white. Uh, I don't think I've ever had a pink. All right, this Ziploc is uh, missing a zip. I'm just going to have to open it the old-fashioned way. I just wanted to see what color this one was, and it looks like it may be yellow. It's sort of a, a, a peach, yellowy um, color, right? I don't know. I would call that sort of a almost yellowy, peachish kind of thing. Tan. I, you know what? I don't know. It's uh, it's nice, though, and it, it's definitely something we can use, whatever you want to call it. Uh, what's in a name? Okay. 
I don't know why I'm folding this back up. I'm just going to set it aside here for the moment. All right, Pat, thank you so much. Uh, already, I feel like you've sent way too much. I'm sorry, Trouble and Carrie, thank you so much. Um, I already feel like you sent way too much. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there's some fun stuff in here. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it looks so fun. This is such a cute little pet bed. The colors on this eye, I like. Uh, and then the, the design is just like, this is like a fancy, um, I don't know, the little frills, the pink frills. This is going to be so cute to see some some fancy little girly kitten in. Uh, that's adorable. Okay. This is, what on earth? Well, first off, whatever it is, it's got a big steel frame that I think has been bent in shipping because it's probably supposed to be round and it's a little bit out of shape. Um, actually, given the way it's bending, that might even be aluminum, but that's fine. No, it's steel. Okay. But what is it? What is it? Oh, oh, and a bonus thing too? No, what is... Oh my goodness, this is such a mystery. Okay, this looks like a scarf that you would wear around your neck like a Boy Scout, doesn't it? It's totally like a Boy Scout scarf. I don't know what this is about. Medium. Oh, hey, I'm medium. Get my Weebelows badge. All right. I don't know what I'm doing, but that's fine. Oh, look, it's got a cute little bow, too, that you can tie, uh, stick on something. It's got a um, safety pin on the back of the bow, so you can put it on anything. Why not? I don't know what any of this is for yet, so maybe I'll be embarrassed when I figure it out, but I'm going to put this bow on, too. I did one. Why not the other? Okay, what's this now? This looks like it's got... Oh, I see. So it is a hammock. It's a, it's a cat hammock, uh, just like we've seen a bunch of hammocks. I thought it might be... But it's a whole different design than any cat hammock we've seen. So first off, um, it's got, like I said, a big steel loop that is uh, somewhat malleable. So I imagine if you did want to shape it a little bit, you could. It's got three uh, hooks. So not exactly made to hang from, say, a chair, uh, which would have four legs and would be uneven. But uh, lots of options here. In fact, you could even, like I've just done here, um, attach them all at the same point and have a hanging basket, which would, you know, like this would be fun. Um, and then the bottom of it is shaped as a flat cylinder. Actually, I guess maybe you'd want to put it the other way so the print's on the outside. You can see that. Here we go, like this. Anyway, the bottom of it is, uh, like I said, shaped like a flat cylinder. So it's not like a rounded bowl shape. It's actually got a wall and a bottom. Not that it will hang like that. It probably will mostly, you know, when you get put a cat in, it's going to kind of be shaped like a bowl. Um, but it does have some work put into giving it a proper form. So that's uh, that's a great little hammock, and uh, I think it would be fun to see it hung up in one of our cages, like so, if it works, rather than um, trying to, to you know put these out to the sides like we normally would. I think that would be fun. Also, uh, I will note that I can't imagine Serenity getting into something like this, but she loves the cage that's in her room. Uh, it's got an entry. It's, I've made it three levels tall, uh, taller than we normally go, and I've only got the entry at the bottom, and she likes to get in there and go all the way up to the top, and then she hides out on the top, and she can see everybody, but they can't get to her. It's like her fortress. Um, and then when she sees me come in the room, she comes running out. So I could put this in there for her, but... Somehow I can't imagine her using it. It'd be fun to see if she did, wouldn't it? Well, now, look at that. Uh, this appears to be another zip-up Santa hat bed, just like the wonderful one uh, that we have had for a couple of years from uh, um, our uh, British contingent, I will say. So, uh, it's similar, actually. I think that one has, doesn't that one have like a buckle or something on it? Uh, I don't know, but the thing I like about this design of the cat beds is that they tend to stand up a lot better than the, the ones that come in one piece and that just they, they just fall over and collapse forever. The ones that have the little zipper there, uh, this piece then is sort of enforced this way. Um, and and they, they tend, not always, but they tend to uh, keep their shape a little better than some of the other beds do. So that should be really nice. Uh, that's another thing I can put away for Christmas, though. Um, and uh, maybe we can, you know, do something with the fact that we might have two very similar looking ones now. Stay. Okay. We're not at the bottom of this yet. We have some more Christmas in the bag. This is the uh, Christmas, a Christmas tree bed, I should say. 
uh, pod, Christmas tree pod. There we go. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Uh, it's got a cute star on top. It looks like it has been shipped pretty well, so it's probably going to stand up. This is the hole. It's folded in on itself. It's decorated with little palm balls. That should be very cute. Um, we could have like a whole forest of Christmas trees at this point, I think. Maybe. Oh, DJ would love that. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. I got another bow. Oh, man. Uh, with another safety pin. Well, I, don't, I can't put it on the other side. That would look weird. Um, but I could put it next to this one. Go. Oh, but I'm just going to cover the mic. Let's put it down a little further. There we go. Just like, oh, ooh. they call them safety pins. What's so safe about that? Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Then finally, one last item here. Oh, OMG, Pat. You have done way too much this time. Uh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Uh, it is a mesh cat tent. Uh, you guys have probably seen that before. In fact, um, you've seen most recently with you. Uh, wait, I said one last thing. Let me get through this first before we go to the mesh cat tent. Here we have a princess tent. Uh, I set this aside and then I just, my brain works the way it doesn't now. Um, this is a princess tent, but it's, it's got a different uh, sort of design on the outside than ones that we've seen before. I can see. Look at that. It's made out of a soft, fuzzy, uh, sort of a um, uh, cerulean material. No, that's not no, so, no, that's not the word I'm looking for. What am I looking for? We'll just say green. All right, let's not get fancy. Uh, but it's so soft. I haven't seen ones made out of this before. That's going to be fun to put out for everybody. They're going to love it. Uh, and it might be the kind that just has the one entry on the one side. So that's also fun for some. Okay, now let's talk about the uh, the wow the big item here at the bottom, which. Um, uh, we had that cube up in the room that uh, Quid and Bill were hanging out in for a long time. Um, and you saw it down here, too, the big orange and black one. And that came with the tunnel that is designed for outdoor use. So uh, they're mesh. They're wonderful. They're good for use indoors, too. They're really big, though. So you need a big room to put them out in. Um, and they're great. And we've been using them. They're fantastic. So Pat has sent this. A uh, similar idea, but it looks like it's like two or three stories tall, too. It's got some internal structure to it, which is... I've, I've never seen one like that that is a mesh tent. Is there a picture on the top? No, there's not. Okay, only on the side. Well, that's going to be way too hard for you to see, so how am I going to show you? It says, uh, keeping cats happy in a few simple steps, step-by-step, -step, instruction manual included. And then the picture shows a guy setting up a tent that is taller than it is wide and has, in fact, yes, like two giant levels inside it, like hammocks uh, that are taut so the cats can climb up three stories of tent. And, uh, and once again, I've seen plenty of mesh cat tents for indoor-outdoor use. They're wonderful. I have never seen one that has uh, any kind of, like, internal structure. Pat always finds stuff that is just a little bit um, fancier. Fancier? Is fancier the word I want? More. Just a little bit more. I was hoping there would be a better picture right in here. There's just another really small one. Uh, I will note, though, it comes with a wonderful bag of its own to uh, pack it away, and it's all packed in the bag right now. Oh, oh my goodness, how thoughtful. Even better than the fact that it comes into the bag, the instructions for how to assemble it also are sewn into the bag, so you always have them. What a nice touch. And I also see this, uh, my Weeblo scarf, uh, must have come with this because their mascot is wearing this uh, very scarf in the picture, their cat mascot, he's wearing it with the bib in front uh, like you would if you were uh, a criminal uh, or a cowboy rather than a Boy Scout, uh, which is fine. Very cute. So this is a little cat costume if they want to dress like Outback Jack. Apparently, Outback Jack, uh, the name of the brand, Outback Jack Play Tent Kitty Catio, that's kitty catio with a K, kitty catio, indoor, outdoor, maintain cat's natural instinct to be outside. Yes, 
They also have an Outback Jack Kitty Compound, but for some reason the Kitty Catio is Catio uh, with a K, but the Kitty Compound is Compound with a C. Uh, you guys got to get consistent. If you couldn't hear it, I spelled consistent and couldn't with K's because I'm cool. Uh, all right. This is awesome. I cannot wait to see uh, and what it looks like and how tall it is and how the internal floors work. Oh, okay. I mean, I get what they're saying, but it seems weird. They've got a list here of like warnings and best practices. Uh, and one of them is um, do not leave outside. I mean, I'm sure what they mean is, you know, do not leave it outside if you're not watching and using it. Uh, like, do not leave outside unattended, um, but just do not leave outside for something that is made to go outside. <laughs> okay, you know, it works. I get it. I get it. Cool. Wow, I do like those. It fully, best practices, the number one, fully construct tent and weigh down with the provided sandbags prior to putting the cat in. Double check for rips and holes prior to each use. Use a secure carrier or leash to bring your cat from indoors and put them in the tent. Make sure it's fully closed and double check, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I like that. Uh, if it were, um, I, I don't, I, I know a lot of people do it that way where they carry their cat out to the thing and I get it and that's fine. And, and you should do that if that's what you got to bring your cat outside. I, um, when I lived in an apartment that I couldn't really make any changes to, uh, and I built my first catio from scratch. Ooh. Uh, I looked online and I found a product that was an insert that goes into the sliding door. Um, doesn't change anything. You just open the sliding door, you put this thing in, and then you close it to there. And it comes with a little locking mechanism. So now your sliding door closes to here. And it's got this little insert that has a cat door in it. So you can add a cat door to just any old sliding door without changing your apartment. And then to the outside of that cat door piece, you can attach a tunnel and you can build your little temporary cat run and out of a tent uh, and your cat can go out there and hang out. But if you are going to do something like that, you should take a lesson from the instructions here and from the first one that I built. Keep a close eye on it. Uh, the first one I built, I used a plastic mesh uh, and the squirrels started chewing through it and I... If, if I didn't keep a close eye on it every day, we would have hit a point where the cats would be able to escape through a squirrel hole um, and or the cats would be catching squirrels <laughs> all the time that came into their cat run. Either way, uh, not something we wanted to deal with, so I replaced it with wire mesh. We've always used actual wire since then. Um, so that would be something to consider, I guess. Uh, but uh, wow, this is incredible and um, most likely something that we would use indoors uh but the cats have so much fun just with something to play with and the mesh i've said it a million times especially when i talk about cat tunnels is uh that that mesh is so much fun for cats that if, when they can see each other and interact but not touch each other it's it's thrilling for them you know they've got this uh that's a fun toy so um I think that kind of stuff's always fun for them. Plus, obviously, it really works well for us here at the Academy because we want to see the cats, and if the stuff is meshed, then you can put a camera up there and you can see what's going on. So, uh, all around. Here we go. This should be a perfect bag to hold these hats. It's got a zipper on this one. I called them hats again. They're keyboard hats. That's what I'm going to say I was thinking. We're just going to go with that, okay? Okay. I've never worn uh, like a like a hair cover in my life. I did. I have had hair in my life. I don't know why I see those instantly as hair covers. It's not like something I have a lot of experience with. Weird. Okay, we're gonna just take all this stuff downstairs because, uh, as I mentioned, we've got the big sorting is coming. It's coming. The great sorting. Oh no. All right. Uh, hey, thanks again, everybody. Let's get this stuff put away. That was wonderful. And then I'm going to have to get the kittens put away, too, and jet out of here uh, to get my car back. And then after that, I don't know exactly what the schedule for the weekend is going to look like. But I, like I said, I got some Halloween fun. It's going to happen. Uh, it's not going to be anything too impressive. I mean, you know, 
you know how we are. Look at Raindrop and Quid snuggled up together right here. Raindrop's so good with everybody. She is the sweetest thing. He's really snuggled under her, too. That's just so cute. Okay. Till has so much to talk about. Unless she is just hanging out with me at rest in my office. It's just nonstop chatter. Okay. Well, that's all going downstairs. That's going downstairs. Even this is going downstairs. Okay. Uh, that can go... Um, this can head that direction for now. This is also going that way. The t-shirt's not, though. You know, it's weird to think that I now have a t-shirt that has a picture of my t-shirt on it. That's weird, right? I'm so meta, even this shirt. No, that doesn't work. Wait. need to go in the box. Ari, right, you do not need to go in the box. You really don't, buddy. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I, th I had this real... Feeling of missing something, and there's the cheese. Whew. That was close. I almost left it here. We can't have that. The cheese does not stand alone. We got you, buddy. No cheese left behind. All right. Uh, how am I going to fit this in here, though? This is just a giant mess now. It's a good thing you send such sturdy boxes, Pat. Uh, sorry, Trouble and Carrie. This will come in real handy a couple more times. Um, <laughs> when I put out the recycling, I usually try to find my biggest, sturdiest box to put all of the recycling into. And that way, when the garbage guy comes by, he doesn't have to get out of his truck. He can use his little claw to pick up the box and uh, dump it right in. So uh, I'm sure he would also thank you in due time, Pat. Uh, the trouble on Gary. I should turn off this mic before I forget and do something uh, embarrassing. They call it a lav mic, but it's not because you use it in the lav, all right? Uh, let's see here. Buddy, those are my men. Oh, that's not even mentos. That's the uh, collar. What did I say about the mic? Dad, I mean, this week, uh, I probably bought a few things actually. I mean, we restocked up on everything, but I, uh, I bought some new cameras for us to put out. Uh, the trouble is, um, I bought one that is the same brand as the old camera that doesn't work. I plan to test it extensively and return it uh, before it reaches the return period if it doesn't work. 
And then the other one is a new brand that has even better specs and it looks so good on paper. Uh, and so far those specs are a complete lie. I can't get it to do anything they say it will do. So <sighs> I tried, but so far it's not looking good. I guess we'll see. Uh, just for the record, one of those new cameras is the one that's in Serenity's room now. How's it going, Quinn? You look like you got some extra floof on you. So sweet. That's Sprout now grooming him and also sort of, you know, grabbing him to be like, she wants to make sure that he uh, knows that she's in charge, but then she's friendly. That's sort of how they, it's the same thing Logan does. She, he'll, he'll bite the kitten's neck and then groom them and uh, you might call it establishing dominance but it's not so much that it's i think it's more a way of just being like yeah i'm grooming you but don't don't forget that uh you also have to continue to show me respect i think okay. all right buddy look out i'm taking this down Uh, this is just, I'm just gonna set this on top. We'll just slide it on down. If you guys hear this banging on the steps a little bit, uh, that's the plan. Don't worry. It doesn't mean I fell. Unless, unless it's really loud and then you hear screaming, in which case, uh, call 911. Nope, nope, out. Out of the way, buddy. No, 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 no. You are not invited to the basement.
Wow. All right. Oh, you bring a Christmas tree down. Put it over here in the sunroom. That would be our first Christmas decoration. A little early. Fat cats can still be liquid. I mean, there is such a thing as heavy water, right? Thanks again, everybody. I just, it's wonderful. You guys are great, and I'm never going to be able to thank you enough. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop saying it. Nope. Uh, well, I'm going to end the archive here. I, I don't even know if it's going to be my archive or uh, uh, Busy Cat's archive or what that ends up on our channel, but uh, I still got to do my part, you know? So, thank you all, and uh, if you are watching live, great, and if you're not, uh, tune in.